uh, my topic for today is uh, going going back in track. Uh, so there will be a time in our life that troubles will come and uh, there will be problems in our faith with the Lord. Uh, masasabi natin kasi uh, we can say this because uh, uh, it is not just the Lord who is working. It's also the devil. Uh, patuloy siyang uh, gumagawa ng paraan para makuha tayo. So it says, it said, it, it was uh, in 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8. Uh, verse 8 says, Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, is a roaring lion. Walk it about seeking whom he may devour. So, kung tatalib, tatagalugin natin ito, magpakatino kayo, magbantay kayo, ang jablo na inyong kaaway ay tulad ng liyong gumagala at umuungal na humahanap ng kanyang malalapa. So, whenever, so sometimes the, the temptation is so strong, uh, the, tempt the temptation of the devil so strong that uh, uh, we tend to give in. Even in the Bible, uh, there are characters that uh, gave gives in, in to temptations. Uh, King David gave gives in to temptation when he saw Bathsheba, and uh, he gives in to the temptation on the desire of the flesh. And then he planned or arranged to, to kill uh, the husband of Bathsheba. And uh, you can read this uh, story of King David in your time. Uh, it's in the second book of Samuel. So David repented and asked forgiveness from the Lord. He's, he's asking for forgiveness uh, it's in the book of Psalm, who, whom he wrote. Uh, it's in uh, Psalm 51, verse 10 to 12. So, it says, um, in verse 10, Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and uphold me with thy free spirit. So Tagalog, likhain mo ako ng isang malinis na puso o Diyos, at magbago ka ng isang matuwid na espiritu sa loob ko. Huwag mo akong paalisin sa inyong harapan at huwag mong bawiin ang inyong san santong espiritu sa akin. Ibalik mo sa akin ang kagala kagalakan ng iyong pagliligtas at Alayan, alalayan ko ng, ako ng kusang spirito. David wrote this after uh, after the prophet Nathan uh, confronted him uh, about his sins to God. So, and uh, another character uh, who gives in to temptation is Samson. Samson fell in love with Delilah. Uh, she manipulated Samson and betrays him for money. Sam Samson, who knew all along that Delilah is the one betraying him. So Delilah asked Samson his secret and he would lie about uh, about where his source of strength, but through the manipulative ways of uh, Delilah, he gives in and uh, tells her uh, about the source of her, of his strength. Samson gives in to temptation and 
uh, not knowing that the Lord uh, departed from him. So this the again the story of Samson can be read in the book of Judges, chapter fourteen to sixteen, uh, and you can read it uh, um, in your own time. So uh, Samson also asked for forgiveness to the Lord, and he asked the Lord to remember him, and in. It can be read in uh, Judges uh, chapter six, 16, verse 28. It says, And Samson called unto the Lord and said, O Lord God, remember me. I pray thee in the end, strengthen me. I pray thee only this once, O God, that I may be at once avenge of the Palestines for my two eyes. At tumawag si Samson sa Panginoon at sinabi, O Panginoong Diyos, idinadalangin ko sa iyo na alalahanin mo ako at, at idinadalangin ko sa inyong palakasin mo ako na minsan na lamang, O Diyos, upang mag-iganti ko paminsan sa mga pelista yung aking dalawang mata. This final, final plea of Samson was heard by God because uh, God restored his strength so para para pabagsakin yung templo so that uh, the temple will be uh, brought down uh, the temple did brought uh, was down and uh, wherein uh, Samson also died so Every day, uh, we face trials and temptation. Sometimes, uh, we do we do commit mistakes and somehow get lost in our walk with the Lord. For some reason, uh, the the path leading to our God to our God is not clear. It's because of the devil's works, and we tend to walk the other way or, or the other direction, and then we become lost and uh, we realize this and we, real, we realize that we are not walking in God's way and uh, we are creating a new direction that is far from God's direction and by that uh, we compromise our faith with the Lord. I know every one of us in some point in our life have committed mistakes in our walk towards God. I, I personally experienced uh, not being happy in the fellowship and simply thought of not attending the fellowship anymore. So the devil is uh, capable of creating a situation that will somehow make you doubt in what you believe in. And therefore, uh, giving a chance to the devil's, the, the devil to to distract you and make you lose your sense of direction and undeniably these things happen just like when the, ser the serpent tempted and persuaded uh, Eve to eat the forbidden fruit and uh, it can be uh, let's go to first Corinthians uh, uh, chapter 11 verse 3 says but I fear lest by any means as the serpent beguiled Eve through his subtlety so your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ ngunit ako ako'y natatakot baka sa anumang paraan kung paanong si Eva ay nadaya ng ah, sa kanyang katusuan ang inyong walang malay at malinis na mga pag-iisip na kay Kristo ay pasamay. This is what uh, Paul said to the Corinthians. He warned he warned them of how the devils uh, work to to deceive the saints. The devil 
is also working and he is also winning. Whenever a uh, uh, brethren have gone astray, he's winning. Uh, uh, whenever a brethren is choosing the happiness being offered by this world, than to be with the brethren who serves God and follow his teachings. The devil wants us to choose the other side whenever there's an option to uh, there's an option between God works or happiness in this world. And I know all of us will choose God because uh, the Holy Spirit within us will guide us. But uh, how can we go back in track if we ever realize that we are not walking in the Spirit anymore? How can we go back to God's way or his path that he made for our salvation? And it, it, it is important that when we realize that uh, we committed a mistake, uh, we stop and uh, we evaluate the situation. In the situation of Samson, he realized that Delilah was the one uh, was betraying him, but still, uh, he did not stop. He continuously sees Delilah. He trusted Delilah over God. So God departed from him. King David was also aware of his sins, but also decided to go with his plans and uh, hide it from God. But God knows and but God knows all, and uh, uh, He sent Prophet Nathan to confront uh, King David. And Nathan, and Nathan, Prophet Nathan, told David his sins to God, and what he will do to him. So David repented. But uh, uh, he was still. Uh, punished by God for what he had done. And so, uh, the way to go back in track is to repent, repent and confess our sins. That's what uh, King David do, did. We must go back to the basics. Uh, we must again think how and why we became Christians. What made us decide to be baptized and be born again? Uh, we must be able to regain the excitement of uh, being a Christian. Uh, when we decided to be baptized and receive the Holy Spirit, we already knew that uh, we will be different, different from others. As for me, from the time when my wife and I uh, were witnessed in the park by the sisters in the Lord, I knew that uh, they were different, the sisters. Uh, they were different from everyone else. And, uh, and I know we will also be uh, subjected to the same treatment of being different if ever we, uh, we became one. This was my thought when it's our, our first time to attend the church meeting. So I knew, uh, I knew that uh, what will we be going through when we decided to be, be, to be baptized and uh, uh, receive the Holy Spirit. Uh, although uh, I'm not good at witnessing and speaking to other people, but I am as a excited and happy whenever a brethren witness and convince people to be baptized so that he can uh, uh, receive the Holy Spirit. So uh, my personal experience is the day uh, I received the Holy Spirit uh, uh, and, and had the power of, of the Gift of tongues. I remember how my 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 jaw my got stiff, and uh, after that, 
the uh, I realized that uh, my mind is fighting it because this is not normal and uh, uh, totally different from what I have been raised to. These experiences and excitement uh, made me uh, hold on to my faith with God and the fellowship. In 1 Corinthians chapter uh, 14, verse 2, it says, For he that speaketh in a known tongue speaketh unto men, but unto God. For no man understandeth understand that him albeit in the spirit he speaketh my mysteries sa Tagalog uh, sapagkat ang nagsasalita ng wika ay hindi sa mga taong nagsasalita kundi sa Diyos sapagkat walang nakakaunawa sa kanya kundi sa espiritu ay nagsasalita ng mga iwaga this verse is a uh, is basic to us so Every one of us here must know that every time we pray in the spirit or speak in tongues, we are directly conveying our prayers to God. This is the proof that we have received the Holy Spirit. Sometimes uh, we got used to hearing it in regular meeting that we tend to think that it's an ordinary thing. So, we must remember that uh, we must remember the, fair, the, be, the first time we heard it and how it felt hearing words that you cannot understand, but uh, you somehow felt it. Brethren, uh, um, we may differ on how we receive the uh, Holy Spirit, but undeniably, we have felt its presence and and it is working within us we all felt we all felt it felt it because most of us here are uh, 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 receive it when we think that uh, it is a, a regular or ordinary thing in the fellowship uh, we we lose the meaning of it. Uh, we forgot the importance or the value of it. Uh, so we must revive the excitement. We must uh, uh, rekindle the fire that we we felt during our early years be, being in the Lord. That is why uh, we share our testimony testimonies so that uh, we can always remember and continuously remind ourselves that uh, ourselves the, the goodness of the Lord to us when we accepted him as our savior. Uh, uh, it's, it's the time also that uh, uh, the time that when I felt unhappy in the fellowship, I know that uh, God is, uh, I know it's, uh, it's a test from God. Uh, uh, he's, he's testing us uh, in our faith in him. And the devil is taking advantage of it. So in, J in James chapter 4 verse 7, It says, submit yourself, therefore, to God. Uh, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Pasakop nga kayo sa Diyos. Datapwat magsisanggalang kayo sa Diablo at tatakas siya sa inyo. So, if we give it all to God, we submit ourselves to Him. Those temptations or thinking of being unhappy in the fellowship will resist uh, the devil if we allow ourselves to feel unhappy in the fellowship. The devil is always on the standby or uh, and waiting for that moment. Uh, you, 
you may find uh, that the work of the devil is not working in you because you continue being unhappy in the fellowship. But the truth is, uh, the devil is waning because the brethren around you is being affected. So let us find joy in serving the Lord so that uh, we can all resist the devil's works. So every time that uh, I see uh, a new one in the Lord or just beginning to be in the fellowship, just like Sister Mary uh, or Sister Mira and Sister Jolene, I, I remember what it feels the... I remember what it feels uh, the questions uh, I asked the verse that I tried to memorize uh, to help me in uh, inviting someone in the meeting. So these thoughts uh, revitalized or renewed my uh, feeling as Christians. So the love of God is greater than our sins. Uh, he carried it all for us so that we can be saved from sins. In Romans chapter uh, 5, verse 20 to 21, uh, it says, Moreover, the law entered, the offense might abound, but where sin abounded, grace did much more abound. That is that a sin had reigned into death, even so might grace through righteousness unto eternal life, eternal life by Jesus Christ our Lord. Hindi ko masyadong naintindihan ito, pero sa Tagalog. At bukod sa rito ay pumasok ang kautusan upang ang pagsuway ay makapanagana Datapat kung saan nagana ang kasalanan ay nananaganang luba ang biyaya. Upang kung paano ang kasalanan ay naghari sa ikamamatay ay gayon din naman ang biyaya ay makakapaghari sa pamamagitan ng katwiran sa ikababuhay na walang hanggan sa pamamagitan ni Iso Kristo na Panginoon natin. So, we must act quickly to uh, to redirect uh, if ever we we lose track the love of the lord is uh, always there to uh, accept us whenever we can strain uh, it says in romans chapter 8 verse 38 to 39 for I am persuaded that neither death nor life, uh, nor angels, nor principalities, nor power, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. <laughs> so, pagkat Ako'y naniniwalang lubos na kahit ang kamatayan man, kahit ang buhay, kahit ang mga anghel, kahit ang mga pamunuan, kahit ang mga bagay na kasalukuyan, kahit ang mga bagay na darating, kahit ang mga kapangyarihan, kahit ang kataasan, kahit ang kababaan, kahit ang alinmang nila lang, ay hindi makakapaghiwalay sa atin sa pag-ibig ng Diyos na nasa, Christ, nasa kay Kristo Jesus na Panginoon natin. So, uh, we must act fast because uh, we will never know when our Lord Jesus Christ returns. If we dwell on our mistake and doesn't even um, make a move to correct it, it will be too late for us to be recognized by the Lord. Because Jesus said it in Luke chapter 13 verse 25. Strive, strive to enter in the straight gate. For many I say unto you, for many I say unto you will seek to enter in 
and shall not be able. Let us strive hard for uh, uh, for our uh, for our Lord Jesus Christ to know us. So when the day of the judgment comes, because although we know him and uh, he will only recognize us through our works. And it's said in Matthew, uh, I think it's the uh, last verse that I Matthew chapter 17, verse 21. Not everyone that said unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth, but he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. Sa Tagalog, hindi ang bawat nagsasabi sa aking Panginoon, Panginoon, ay papasok sa karya ng langit. Kundi ang gumaganap ng kalooban ng aking amban na sa langit. So, uh, this talk is uh, an encouragement, uh, by brethren, so so that we can uh, to uh, we can be encouraged to joyfully serve the Lord our God. Uh, we must think that every work we do in the fellowship for the is for the Lord, not for anything or any persons. So let us not let us not lose our way to the Lord. Because, because his love toward us uh, uh, will never, uh, because his love uh, toward us, uh, we will never get lost. And good day.